Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. That's what I thought. I, I don't know. Like, it says hold. So it says switch. You do that, you don't see what it what it is, though. YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Wavy. You already noticed my channel, Mr. Orchard Beach. If you're new to the channel, you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all the above. You already know why you're here. You know, you've seen the title of the vid. I got to shout out In Motion for letting me test out the RS. On the quick five minutes of ride time pause, if you have to. Hey, I can already attest to the, the power of this joint. It's obviously assembled right now, so I'm not going to get into all that. Y'all can check out videos on YouTube like I did just to uh, set this joint up. Setup is fairly easy. They do have a manual straight out the box. It's not a whole bunch of parts that you really have to deal with. The most important thing is... Welcome to the Bronx. All right, for the moment, somebody has turned down their jalopy. Making sure everything's tight. This is one of the most important parts right here, this bolt that holds the uh, stems right there. Once you get that locked in, you're pretty much okay. You got your tires, 11 inch tires. PSI's are 50. I wouldn't just um, put it on the road straight out the box. I actually did buy an inflator from uh, Amazon electric joint. Nice, putting the PSI's and there you go. You got dual hydraulic brakes, they are beasts. And you also do have, this is the first time I've ever seen it, an indicator shows how much fluid you have left. Up in the joint kind of reminds you of a, of a four-wheeler. You will notice there are a lot of wires, but they are color-coded. Don't really have to worry about that. There's something I do like right here. They actually have a sleeve that holds all the wires. Safe. I will talk about any safety concerns, but um, whoever built this had safety in mind. You got your pose balls if you have to that hold the handlebars. You can adjust them. I did. When you first get the scooter out the box, it'll be set to like zero. And I heard a lot of people, they was like, oh, it kind of got them leaning back like Fat Joe and Remy Ma and them. But... I didn't have that issue, but I still went ahead and adjusted the forks to about two. I was cool with stock, but I'm cool with the way this goes. Now you see your handlebars. If you're used to regular scooters, uh, most of them, probably about 95%, all the ones that I've owned have the trigger accelerator or the thumb. This joint got the twist throttle, like a dirt bike or something. It is going to take a little to get used to. Not really, because, I mean, I've done both. Pause. Dirt bikes, four-wheelers, so for somebody who's not used to switching back and forth, you probably want to start out real slow. We'll talk about the modes in a second. You can adjust the brakes. Don't worry, the scooter comes with tools. You got Allen wrenches and you got two other joints. I always say, at bare minimum, keep this with you when you ride, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Pause if you have to want that. You can adjust the brakes however you want, the rear and the front brakes. That also comes in clutch, because I remember other uh, scooters that I had, I didn't have the throttle set correctly, and it was hurting my wrist. So make sure, you know, especially if you, you plan on uh, cruising for a while. You got a display screen. Turn it on. There's no keys here. How you gonna keep it safe? Uh, all with the app. They do have an app, the InMotion app. You can um, set the lock with that, but <laughs> I wouldn't just rely on that. Right now, I do have a lock. I'll probably end up getting another lock pretty soon, but anyway. So you got your speedometer. I got to switch mine from kilometers to miles per hour. You got your odometer as well. You can also see how much battery you have left. We'll get into the drive later, but you do have a cruise control. I'm not messing with that. Uh, nah, not in the city. I ain't messing with no cruise control. But you do have that option, and it's all on display. For you. Up on the handlebars, you got your left turn signal, right turn signal, headlights. Backlights will illuminate too, letting traffic know that you're slowing down going left and right, all that. This is the first scooter that I've had that's giving me those options, and I do like that because usually I just um, kind of like wave my hand and pray that the driver sees me. I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. Now I can hit the, uh, the left and the right. Still look, you got to pay attention, especially if you're in a city like New York. You got to pay attention. It ain't just how you drive. It's how the other people are driving. Word. The color is black and yellow. Kind of reminds you of Bumblebee. Here's the actual deck. Got a lot of room here. That is pretty grippy, so you ain't got to worry about sliding up off there. You also have reflectors on each side. Here's your charger. I do like the charger. Be careful, though. I can see over the years of if you bend it back too much, it might break. But yeah, you got dual chargers. Now, out the box, it was charged already. I didn't really pay attention, but it says for a full charge, it takes eight and a half, eight and a half to nine hours. They do have dual chargers, so it'll cut it down to about four, four and a half. You do the math. I only have one because I'm, you know, I'm economical. The kickstand. This is the most sturdy kickstand that I've ever seen. My worst fear is always if a kickstand would like break or something, I'd be, you know what I'm saying? I'd be SOL. It does seem pretty durable. So I do like that. Roll around to the back of this machine. You got your other brakes right here. Both your brake calibers are red. New suspension system in the front and in the back. It's also adjustable. I haven't adjusted it at this point. I'm cool with um, the way it's set right now. You can also adjust the height on the scooter. I'm cool with where it's at. That's enough clearance for me to do what I need to do. I don't need it to go any lower. Don't really care about uh, raising it up. Now let's get into the speed. It's supposed to go 68 miles an hour. It probably depends on weight. Ain't really no reason for you to go that fast unless you on like an open road somewhere down south or something. It's just, I like the fact that you can do this. They have four modes on the scooter. These could be switched with the plus or minus button. Plus, plus, plus. That's four, three, two, 
one. I'm cool with two. When I do get on the street, I'm gonna change the settings from miles and from kilometers to miles an hour to see how fast I'm going. But two is cool. You know what I'm saying? Two is cool. And I'm thinking like the three and four. That'll be getting you up on like the fifties. Four definitely uh, uh, touching them sixties. Another thing about this scooter, it gives you three modes. You got two wheel drive, you got front wheel drive, and you got the rear wheel. I believe the two wheel is more for off road because. At the time, I didn't know that it was on. Um, it was on the dual, and I could feel the front tire. It, it kept spinning out. That could be an issue, especially if it's raining, icy out, or whatever. I wouldn't even be riding this in like those type of conditions. But I'm saying, just in case you did, be careful, because like I said, I do feel that front that front tire is giving a lot of spin. I prefer rear wheel drive, simply because I feel it gives the most power. Just in case I want to, you know, try to pop a wheelie and all that. If it does start raining. Just switch to front wheel and make sure you know what wheel you're on, though. But yeah, switch to front wheel if it does start raining. It'll be more safe for you out there. Oh, another thing that I do like about this deck, this is my favorite place to plant my right foot. I just feel like I have more control when my foot is um, is back there. Now, don't put your foot on this. This is on the brake. This is plastic right here. But yeah, here, you're good. This, no. <sighs> I'm not here to bash or anything like that. They do have an extra splash guard that I'm cool with. It would limit the amount of um like any water or technically dirt shooting back at you, pause if you have to. But if you're riding off road, you don't need that. To me, it's not the cool factor. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, I, I'm, I'm good. But you do have that option to bolt that on. With the vehicle being twist throttle, and I've seen it, being stationary, accidentally twisting it and that joint go. And now it's going to fall, but you don't want to go uh, hit somebody's car. You know, that, that, that'd be bad. Yo, fall. Two wheel drive, I would be very careful with that. I've noticed when I do try to switch, when I have gloves on and I try to switch the modes, I sometimes hit the signal. You know, that's kind of an issue. Then I got to stop. Another thing, and that's probably my bad, I'd have to look more into it. When I'm changing the modes, I do know what mode is what, but it seems like it doesn't really show me on the display. I know for a fact what's two wheel drive though. You know, I, I definitely do. And the manual will show you the order. So as long as you know what order you're at, and if you are too, you know, like, okay, then the next one is this, the next one, you know. But yeah, I wish it would show it uh, a bit more better. But anyway, we're about to um, go tackle a couple hills, ride around the Bronx for a little while. Uh, it's, it is a nice day, but this is just a review my thoughts when it starts getting warmer i'm doing more videos on this you know i already know i'm going to go to dykeman i just can't go today i'm going to dykeman i'm going to the heights harlem i want to go all the way to the bottom of Mad battery park and ride all the way back up to the bronx that's that's going to be but it's got to be warmer for that and i probably would want some more protection probably go ahead and get the knee pads pause if you have to i, pro I probably will uh, <laughs> yeah definitely be safe when you're on these joints for real how heavy is this i'll put the weight up there I live in an apartment and every now and then, well, every now and now, <laughs> my arm, um, please not today, my elevator goes down. Yeah, it's a real shithole. I can't carry this joint up. Nah, and little Jetta, nah, I would have to take this joint to my job, you know what I'm saying? And leave it in there for the for the night or until um, the elevator's fixed. But yeah, that's what I would have to do. But yeah, this joint is heavy for sure for our first views and stuff this is a pretty ass scooter for real reminds me of bumblebee the more i go out on it the more comfortable i'll be hey, y'all will definitely see so anyway man got my gopro joint you know what i'm saying right here we ready to go we're gonna tackle some hills because um one thing that the bronze does have some hills you know what i'm saying uh other dangerous but we, we're gonna focus on the hills after i roll around the parking lot right quick show you how it handles we definitely gonna hit the blocks follow me. i'm gonna show you how these gears go all right so first this is our just rear wheel. You can get to about, you can do about 20. 20 in first, which is second gear. All right, you probably get to about 30 in second, okay. Sir. I believe we could probably get to about 35. I just ran out of, uh, let me see what, four, how, oh, I already flipped. <laughs> four, four, four. Oh, matter of fact, yeah, let me, let me, let me chill out. I forgot where I'm at. <laughs> I forgot where I'm at. This is a real steep hill, even for a car, it's steep. But I'm, I'm gonna change it to third. Matter of fact, I'll drop it down to second. Cause I got faith in the scooter. Come on. So we in second.
going going 20 26 27 28 Woo. oh yeah wow, this joint yeah yeah no match that mills ain't no match they can go I, I got 28 up this hill It's another hill I want to hit up. We're going to go around Yankee Stadium way. I like the springs on this thing. I, I definitely do. Not too bouncy, but you could tell like it, they, they stable and it gives you a lot of control. I went ahead and changed it to third gear because I got kind of comfortable in second, but I'm good for now. Right, this is a steep one right here, steep hill. Let's see. I'm going front wheel drive on this one. Uh. No issues. I was like, uh, every time I go to start the joint, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't accelerate. When you turn on the scooter, you got to hit the cruise control and you got to check, but you can't just hit the, the throttle because it's not going to do anything. Now, I do like that feature. You got to put it in gear. There you go. It's a safety feature and that's good. You got to put the gear to one, duh. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there like, so that's what will help it not uh, you accidentally hitting the throttle and just uh, taking off like that. You got to uh, put it in gear. So that's it, hit that like button. There will be more content, but hey, first test, yeah, I like this joint. Be more uh, more content to come. Follow me, hit that subscribe. Say hello to my little friend. Like, like, <laughs> Follow me, hit that subscribe button, like all that. It's always a success when I don't get in an accident and the elevator works. <laughs> Word. But anyway, shout out to In Motion. I'm gonna leave my link in the video description below so y'all can save if y'all want one of these joints. Hey, you won't regret it. Word.